Hey, it's Pete Checkley for Sampler Review, and today I'm checking out Tangent Drum by Audio Brewers. Audio Brewers have a reputation for very detailed sampling and presenting their libraries in both stereo and ambisonics. Like their most recent release, Piano Forte, Audio Brewers have turned their intricate attention to the steel tongue drum. Promising to be the last steel tongue drum we will ever need, Audio Brewers have presented these samples in their multifunctional engine to promise a range of organic sounds, array of mic positions, and endless sound design and sequencer options. With all of that going on, this could easily fill a steel tongue drum size hole in any composer's palette. Tangent Drum downloads at 37 gigabytes and has five core articulations. There are 13 prepared articulations, 10 sound design articulations, 25 tailored presets, and multiple round robins and velocities. There are also four mic positions, and the instrument is presented in stereo and ambisonics. Tangent Drum requires full version of Contact 6.2.1 or above, and it normally sells for 69 euros, but it is currently on sale for 39 euros. And here we have Tangent Drum. Now, before we start, I'm going to load only the stereo instruments. And if I just reload the core instrument, there we have the classy animation, which appears. And the GUIs are really, really straightforward. So you have your four main categories or pages down the bottom, and then different controls and our articulations on the left, which are also key switched. And then we go on to the uh, XY pad, which we'll talk about a little bit later. So without further ado, here is just straight out of the box, Tangent Drum. So it sounds exactly as we'd expect. It's a steel tongue drum. It's beautifully sampled. It's very, very clean. Now, if I play the lower green area, it's kind of the, the samples, it's not the playable range. So the samples have been sort of pitch shift down and then the same for the higher area as well. They still sound great and perfectly usable, but sticking to the blue area, you're going to get that sort of more natural sound. And this brings us on to the instruments on the left. So you can see we have core layered, core, prepared, layered, prepared, and sound design. But also we have these deconstructed instruments as well. So if we go in, uh, let's just go for uh, a mixed version. And in fact, let's go back, um, let's go for an overhead. So we've got the core layered. And what Audio Brewers have done, they've got this really cool technology where they are deconstructing the samples. So we have the resonance of the instrument, the tonal parts, the overtones, and it creates a six octave instrument. I absolutely love that sort of thud. It's thunderous. Oops, just played two at the top there. But you can hear it going from our core patch where we have a, a sort of more narrow playable range to now these deconstructed uh, samples. It just has this massive playable range now and it sounds absolutely ace. Now we're back with the core instruments. So the fingers articulation. <laughs> uh, 
and let's just change to the fingertips. And the fingertips muted. And then mallets. like the uh, higher pitches they have a uh, very sonorous quality to them and then going low yeah that sounds very cool and then mallets muted so the different articulations they all obviously have different tonal properties to them and it extends the instrument a lot so from fingers which is standard and then mallets and of course there's round robins at play and a lot of different velocity layers going on and these articulations, like I say, they're key switchable and they just really make the instrument shine. Now, if we look at our pages um, and all the controls, so we have different reverb. Oops. I'm going to go back to fingers. There we go. And then we can change the reverb decay. And then the low shelf. Then the damp. So some very subtle changes over the reverb there. And then we have the modulation. So you have your ADSR controls, uh, but you can also change these uh, to whatever uh, you'd like, so pitch, dynamics, etc. And let's just change the attack. And I'm doing this in real time, so my audio device is actually uh, clipping, but it's not the instrument at all. So I've made the attack uh, a lot longer. And then I'll see let's say dynamics so I've set a low dynamic value and you can do the same the expression now on the mod wheel I have the velocity linked but you can also just right click and let's say you want to do the expression easily done and then the pitch well the pitch is set to uh, where it should be but we can go a lot lower or a lot higher that's getting right up there that is uh so yeah that's cool and then obviously these drop down menus you can change the adsr the offset velocity dynamics etc and there is also an arpeggiator as well which you can play around with let's just change that so instant sequence is really straightforward Sounds great. And then we have our effects. Now, 
the effects are linked directly to the mixer. So you can see we have our different microphone mixes. So we have uh, sort of mix mic, macro overhead and inside. And you can just toggle the effects on and off. If you want to add some effects, you need to add them like so. So on our second, um, I'm going to say socket for want of a better word. Uh, let's add some delay. Now also you get plenty of different controls over the delays. But if we go back to the mixer, the delay has now appeared. And if I play that. And that's going to affect for each different mic we load up. So I'm on the macro. And let's just go overhead. It's going to whiz back and turn off the arpeggiator, uh, which is in modulation. It does sound very cool though, and nice and easy to use as well. Um, there we go. And. There we have our overhead, and last one is a microphone actually placed inside this sort of uh, sound box, as it were. And then you can combine these, so let's just go for a bit of stereo spread, which I'm just making myself. Um, turn them all on. Got to bring the, the volume down ever so slightly and just see what it sounds like. So that's a very, very full sound. And then effects, you can just stack different effects going on. So let's say I would like some uh, bit of tape and let's add some transients and just see what that sounds like okay it's very very sort of resonating sounds great down the low end and then of course you can just change different articulations And like all of the audio brewers instruments I've used, the sound design is incredibly appealing. And once you get used to the GUI, it's the same across all their instruments. Uh, so making new sounds really, really quickly is really, really straightforward. So if we load up the core layers or layered instrument, so it's still using the same core sounds. But instead of different mic mixes, you now have layers. The layers are arranged one to five going across. And if you click on the articulations, each articulation is assigned to a different layer at the moment. So fingers is on layer one. Then fingertips is on layer two. And then fingers muted on layer three. And then mallets and mallets muted are on layers four and five. And you can reassign the layers if you'd like to. Uh, so I've put everything on layer one. As I go through, only layer one will work. We can turn these off. But as you go through the different layers, you can change the volume, change the panning, etc. Obviously, you can still have effects on each layer so let's just load um let's go for an analog delay and go back to our layers and we can see analog delay is on all of them however if you don't want it on layer two you don't need to have it on layer two so the fingertips if i put on layer one and two i can produce 
delay just on the left hand side. And then maybe I'd like um, some distortion. Actually, let's go saturation. And then maybe I only want that on the right hand side. It just gives you a lot more control over sound design and also volume as well. So you can change uh, the layers subtly. So if maybe I do want that uh, delay in the middle, but I want it quite quietly. Bring that back. So I'm just playing around with sort of different layers and um, already wanting to create sounds. And that's what this instrument does. It's very inspiring in terms of uh, experimenting and being creative. And that's what it's all about, really. So moving on, if we look at the prepared layers, and obviously with the prepared element of this, it's going to be a lot of different articulations and the steel tongue drum being struck in different ways. So again, the GY is the same. However, the articulations, there's plenty going on. So we're on fingers sticky. And then we have nail plucked. I do like hearing the different range. And then the mallet rear. That's very metallic drumstick. Yep, sounds ace. Uh, drumstick muted. Brilliant. Can already hear the sound design potential there. Uh, drum hot rods. got a really nice sort of clicking percussive element there and then drum brushes and uh, drum brushes pulled I did just knock my mic then it was not the instrument That's always nice after you've been doing this for quite a few years now and you hear something in an instrument you've not heard before. That sounds brilliant. And then we have a pen hit. Sounds lovely, very, very clean. A wrench hit. And then wrench muted. Wrench dragged. Absolutely love it. And then bowed. Now, if we remember, this is a 39 euro instrument. We have all these different articulations. So for a steel tongue drum to be sampled in such a detailed way, that's absolutely fantastic value for money. Now I'm in the layered version. So again, we could assign effects and assign all these articulations, different layers. We can also stack the effects as well. So if I want a uh, mallet rear and let's go I'm going to put everything onto layer one, so I'm going to bring the volume down slightly. Um, love the wrench hit. So let's bring that down. And um, finger sticky. Brilliant. And bring that down. Let's just bring up the reverb. It's a 
lovely metallic sound. I'm just going to take the reverb back down. And then on the modulation, maybe I'd like the expression to be controlled by the mod wheel and we can sort of control that sustain a bit more. So getting some serious horror vibes going on there and it just sounds great. So my sort of main thoughts after about 20 minutes doing this first look, the sampling is really, really clean and the range of articulations is brilliant. It's such good value for money. The GUI really, really straightforward and easy to use and the effects are brilliant. So I've not really done a huge amount of sound, uh, sound design with it, but the potential is there and it's going to sound cool. So this is the kind of instrument that I would just spend hours and hours and hours just creating different sounds with. The next instrument I'm going to load is the sound design instrument. And you can see the loading times aren't at all very long. I've not batch free saved, uh, but it loads very, very quickly, especially considering the sample pool is absolutely huge. So... Again, I'm going to open the articulations. So I'll just play the fingers. And then we have these different loops. And it's on stat mode already, so I'm just going to turn that off very quickly. So here's some chambers loops. It's like an incredible low drone. I'm just watching to make sure nothing peaks. Uh, let's do build up. Breaking glass. Uh, sunflowers. And horror tunes. I mean, it sounds absolutely evil. So let's just uh, add a few more. Let's put our fingers on. Let's turn that off. Let's try hissing. Breaking glass. So we have these sound zone articulations. And again, if you go to the layers, they're all assignable to the different layers and you can play around with the different effects as well. If you're going to presets, this is where we have uh, some really cool instruments that have been designed uh, by Audio Brewers. So we have bouncing and it says mod wheel, so it's mod wheel controlled. And let's go for the next one. And these really show the potential this instrument can have. So of course, once you've created your own sounds, you can save them and always call them back. So again, we are loading up. Now there's gonna be quite a lot going on this instrument, as you can see by the loading time. It is worth to point out as well, this is coming off a 7200 RPM mechanical drive uh, purely as I've run out of SSD space at the moment. But that's something to upgrade later. So even on a slow mechanical, it loads a lot quicker. That sounds brilliant. Uh, let's load lullaby 
So a smaller instrument is loaded quicker. That was one of the most hauntingly beautiful things I've heard in a very long time. I could get completely lost in that. And again, this is what I'm talking about. This instrument, it inspires creativity. So on the surface of things, it's a steel tongue drum. It's hit with a variety of different articulations. But the sound design is absolutely brilliant. And if you're really into sound design and creating your own instruments or sounds or timbres, this is an absolutely fantastic addition to your composing palette. The final part we're going to look at are these deconstructed mixes. I could spend all day in sound design, believe me. However, this is very important. So I have already said it's about splitting the tonal qualities, the overtones, the resonances of the samples. And these are the four mic mixes. So if I was going for the mix mic, that's the most balanced. And if I load up the core layered, and you can see they are labeled A, B, C, D, E, A, uh, e, A e, F, and G. And this is the same for all of these mixes. And the reason is everything has now been sampled. So if you're playing in the key of A, all the resonances, overtones, etc., will work in the key of A. and across all six octaves. So you're not gonna get any of these really sort of horrible clashes or noise that you can't get rid of. Everything is gonna sound pristine and work perfectly. So if we're in A. So that's playing an A minor, just A major. And it sounds really together and you know you could put a whole orchestra behind it and it will sound perfectly in tune and it's amazing that you have these instruments for all these different keys and all the different mixes and that concludes this first look of tangent drum by the audio brewers and audio brewers i will say right off the bat have done an amazing job with this instrument if you use their other instruments you'll feel completely at home with the gui the different effects the sound design capabilities it just all works really really well but i really cannot get over the value for money at 69 euros you're getting so much for your money the different articulations, the effects, the sound design, and then potentially what you can do yourself with this instrument is almost limitless. It's not just what you can do with the instrument though, it's also the level of sampling. Obviously, if you do work in ambisonics, ambisonics is just a whole different ball game and you get that in every audio brewer's instrument. So ambisonics, really, really cool. I stick to stereo personally, and I love how clean the sampling is. Will I use this? as a part of my template well every time i need a steel tongue drum this is the instrument that i'm going to reach for not because organically it sounds so beautiful well that is part of the reason but the other part is obviously what i can do with it what i can change without using any third party plugins you can do so much for crime for tension music for ambient music for world music this is so versatile and it's going to play a big part in my composing future thank you so much for checking out this first look of tangent drum by audio brewers if you have not done so already 
I really urge you to go over to the website and check out their absolutely stunning demos. Their demos really do show off this instrument to its capability. If you like what you heard, feel free to leave us a like and leave a comment down below how we'd use this and what you like about the instrument. If you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel, check out our other videos and head over to samplibreview.com to check out everything that's going on in the world of virtual instruments. Until next time, have a great day and take care.